Welcome to Southeast Minnesota's Economic Forum. I'm Gary Smith, President of Rochester Area Economic Development. Today we bring together a number of regional leaders to examine Southeast Minnesota's economic outlook for 2016. We're going to hear from keynote speakers from uh, former Congressman and current President and CEO of Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation, Tim Penny, and Steve Lair of Vice President of Operations for Quick Trip. And there are also a couple of panels of industry executives who will share their perspectives on the economy. Now, none of us know for sure what the future holds. The current geopolitical climate is far from stable, and many economies around the globe are sputtering. Yet, Southeast Minnesota is well positioned for future growth. We have two significant initiatives, Destination Medical Center and Journey to Growth, to facilitate and guide this growth. One thing I am certain about is our collective capacity to shape our own economic future. If Southeast Minnesota communities work together, we can sustain and grow upon the great economic base we share today. Our collective community includes our cities, our industries, businesses, chambers of commerce, economic development organizations, workforce and education communities, among others. The days we can go it alone are long gone. We must all work together in order to solve the competitive challenges we face, whether those challenges relate to infrastructure, workforce, or any other issue. These, these issues transcend any one community's ability to solve them on their own. We must learn how to work together, and we need to be bold enough to share our success stories with the world along the way. Let me conclude by giving you something to think about. It's a rather simple statement, but taken in its entirety, I think it captures the essence of where we hope to find ourselves in the future. I also challenge you to think about what you can do to make this statement true. Journey to growth. That's what, that's what happens when people and communities work together. Let's make it happen. It's now my uh, pleasure to uh, introduce John Doyle of uh, Merchants Bank. Who, who's the sponsor of this great event, the platinum sponsor of this great event. John, do you have a few words you'd like to share with the group? Yeah. Gary, thanks so very much for those kind comments and the introduction, and it's wonderful to see such a great uh, crowd here today. So thank you, and on behalf of uh, my 400-plus Team members, coworkers at Merchants Bank, I welcome you and express our appreciation for your attendance. When the Chamber approached us uh, several months ago to consider sponsoring the event, we were particularly excited. I was in particular because of its focus on southeastern Minnesota and all the wonderful communities that uh, exist in this area. And it also allowed me and us to reflect on the 140-year history of Merchants Bank in the region and selfishly for me, my own life experience here in southeastern Minnesota. But certainly importantly, it's an opportunity for us today to kind of celebrate the rich history of entrepreneurship in this region and all the wonderful communities that exist in this area. You know, uh, legacy shows certainly in our manufacturing sector, agribusiness, education, healthcare, technology, the sciences, the arts, there are faith communities, the service businesses. So we're blessed with really rich cultures and diversity, along with uh, certainly natural beauty and the resources that exist in our area. So you know, we're called upon to be good stewards uh, of all of these assets, and I believe we can be incredibly optimistic uh, about the future for ourselves, our children, our grandchildren, and uh, certainly future generations. So that's what gets me excited about this event and the program today, and I so appreciate the speakers and the panelists that are willing to share their thoughts and experiences with us. So again, uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning and enjoy the program. Thank you.